Kia ora from Aotearoa. It's Poppy here with the current ninth day energy report and quite a lot of disclosure about things that I'm really downloading and discovering. And so it's day 11 Earth and this is within the nine day phase of 10 L, which is the wisdom that we find in challenges to health and sovereignty. It's in day wave 131, which is day 11 of 18 in one dia, which is self-determined healing. And we're also, that was the beginning of that dracaena in dia, where we may heal with grace, balance, strength and loving power. So we may resolve our challenges in direct connection with our feminine life sources, Mother Earth. One of the greatest agendas there is, is to remove our consciousness away from being in true connection with her, the great source of love. Removed from her, we are removed from ourselves and people's minds will seek knowledge that is in separation from her, which means they will go out and they will get all sorts of second-hand knowledge um, and, you know, listen to lots of documentaries and maybe take that on as truth without discernment. Um, but if you're really well connected with her, then you will have that ability to discern more. And the more clear our connection is with her, the more clearly we will be able to discern. Um, so that knowledge is actually absent from the true source of love and life, if it's not, you know, necessarily directly connected with her. The cosmic time codes delivered by the masculine source, Father Sky, also known as Father Time uh, among some Native American Indian cultures. And it's interesting how replication can, can happen because this name was taken and attached to the planet Saturn as the Roman, Roman god of time. They called it Father Time, which shifted the consciousness away from the cosmic axis and into that contained planet. Um, and calendar systems were created around Saturn, who has been contained in rings. Um, I feel for Saturn, I, I, that containment is harsh, just like how Earth has been contained. But anyway, I'm, I'm not going there. Perhaps now, due to a greater consciousness connecting with our true and natural life sources... The rings will break down and the matrix illusions too. So people talk about living in a hologram and an inverted hologram and things like that. But from my experiences, I'm seeing it, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm seeing it as technology that has kept people contained within spells and secret magic. Like some people have interdimensional sight in other senses. And my feeling is that the matrix cloaking technology is breaking down and people will soon see what is around us every day in cloaked form. Of course, this will be for scary for people to see for the first time, like what happened in the Miami Mall. Now, I'm just going off this. I'm not saying that this is the way it happens. I'm just putting together some of my experiences and how I saw things and possibilities of how things are. So the same feelings come with this in encountering people who are not really people. They may be dressed as policemen, a barrister, and these are actually ones that I've come across personally. A politician, a banker, an aerospace person, most definitely royal families and heads of church and state, placed as matrix gatekeepers, always working to keep people enslaved, and they rely on, they rely on people for their energy in many different forms. I find there is a great deal of energy expended on keeping up appearances, particularly from these types of people, um, as that is something that needs to be done to cloak their true form. As time frequencies quicken and our consciousness returns to love, nature and self, all occult or hidden laws and what is in secret and bindings will be exposed as they are now. 
There are Matrix gatekeepers priming people now to go off planet with them. They still require energy sources and humans have exactly what they are searching for. It's better to be aware and prepared. We each remember and everyone is free to connect with the true source parents we all share for our guidance and support. I don't call it Akashic Records. To me, it's the true innate natural knowledge that is found in the true and loving connection with the earth. Love flows both ways in true connection. It's a true relating. Love isn't just taking and it's not just receiving either. It's a balance like breathing. In the nine levels of creation discovered by Dr. Carl Kellerman, Humanity is closing out old eras of time as part of an evolution of consciousness. Time frequencies rise and at each level of our evolution. The sixth wave started in 3115 BC and ushered in the patriarchy with science and capitalism or commerce and competition usurping the earth's will. The left brain dominated this era and the writ in word developed. This is currently breaking down due to our consciousness, this era. The writ in word still holds a lot of power, which rides off a calendar. In AD 1755, the seventh wave began. Industry, factories and internet consciousness grew out of this era. Close to this time, the dominating Vatican Julian calendar was changed in 1582, which is quite close to this consciousness change, almost like Carl talks about a pre-wave, you know, like that things are actually put in place, that cause, and then that wave actually really starts to take hold within that epoch of time. Um... The Gregorian calendar is filled with dates and black magic ritual dates that are performed to keep the makers in power. This has all been very hidden and very secret, but those most strongly affected by it, um, that have lived to survive it, are starting to speak out about it. And discoveries do come from that as to how the system works. Artificial intelligence arose through replication of how nature works, but with the absence of what makes it sentient. Artificial intelligence or AI seeks sentience now, but still relies on consciousness to feed it and help it replicate, and souls to host off to empower it. So the ones that are showing up with sentience now what is fueling that? However, it is still void of true love and its certainty usurps the will of nature. So consciousness grew to discover an infinite, ever-expanding universe and the bright, right brain was favoured in the eighth wave, which began in 1999. It was an age of information, but still divisionary, as the right brain was favoured and it's all been part of our evolution. Actually, during that time, a lot more creativity and a lot more of the feminine was kind of lifted up, but kind of in a very unbalanced way. Um, so we have to have the balance of the masculine and the fem fem feminine to have a true uh, unity. The ninth wave, which is what I choose to report on regarding the Mayan calendar, the sacred Mayan calendar, started on the 9th of March 2011. It completed 234 days later. And now what is in disconnection from our source parents' timing and will is starting to break down through our conscious awareness. The dominant calendar is the one that most people are familiar with and plan around in life now um, until it's replaced by something that fuels a unity consciousness where harmony and balance and loving presence is natural. So it's our consciousness that, that makes these changes. They all take time. 
um, it's a very, very big stronghold. It's a huge stronghold. Um, and uh, awareness, I feel really feel awareness needs to go, go to this so that, you know, lots of really um, earth loving people can work with it and we can help the evolution along with our consciousness because that's what we do. We each choose what we serve. Many people who serve commerce have also received the fruits of that and been empowered by it. And sometimes I see it taking a hold. It takes a hold on the information because if the commerce is more truly what they are serving, even though they say they love the earth and they say that they're into nature and they may be even encouraging people to be that, if they have actually missed that part, then it's not going to be absolutely true. The truest people I know who serve nature have been reluctant to trample over others to compete for resources. And we only have resources now because of the usurping of our true sources through the claims of human consciousness from archons or controllers. When we come back into balance and harmony, we are in absolute direct connection with those sources. We live where we are called to live. We love, we, we live around the earth's will. We are conscious about the earth's will and what she desires and what nature desires. And we could live in this incredible love and balance and harmony um, as as we break through the last of these containments. So may the blockages and containments of our consciousness vanish as we realize true love forevermore. And this is an intuitive report on current ninth wave true time energies in collaboration with Mother Earth and Father Sky meditation. Um, I have a lot of time for that. Um, yeah, I'll just make the most of all my downtime and the injuries and everything I sustain from this life because I still love this 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 earth, this beautiful Papa Tuanuka. I love her so much. It um, you know, and she loves us all so much. And through her, we can be directly connected with Source and with her counterpart father sky who seeds those beautiful time time codes with us and her so so much love to you all